So, Mortal Kombat 1. Is the hate warranted? Just for the talking points, we're going to go over each little section here that we have on the main menu, and we'll see if that hate is really warranted. So first up, we have the story. You fight your way through a cinematic story. We're all well aware, NRS loves making these cinematic masterpieces. Quote-unquote masterpieces. I thought the story was fine. They went the multiversal route. So, you know, things that change, things that move around, genders that swapped. Things like that happened. Story overall, I didn't think that was that bad. I don't think the hate is warranted for that in particular. The story was fine. I'm gonna skip over this middle one. We don't get to that in a second, but we don't slide over to Towers. Towers, honestly, I don't have any hate for it. It has been the same for God knows how long. They have yet to reinvent the wheel here and have just been giving out the same shit every time. So again, it's a fine mode if you want to call it a mode. You got novice, warrior, champion, survivor, and if you really have time to do endless then you know whatever, because I, I, don't, I don't ever see the purpose. You don't get any XP in the game. Another down downside to this fucking game, but you know, we're still on the menu. Alright, now back to the center, here we are with invasions. Everybody's favorite mode in Mortal Kombat 1. Like, look at the setup. Look at what they had. This was actually pretty solid. Like, look at the design. It actually looks nice. But then you go in, and my bad, I went to Wushi Academy. But you go in, and you're staring at, like, these board game pieces. And what happened? Where's the innovation? Where's, where's the new? What is my motive? and playing this mode besides trying to unlock the seasonal skins that they have, which are just usually recolors, by the way. You get, like, one exclusive different skin, and after that, you're stuck with all these recolors. Granted, some of them are cool, but does that warrant a good mode? Does that warrant good rewards or collectibles? No. I will say, I do admire the setup that they tried to go for. They gave you mini-bosses and stuff like that. They just made the damn shit too long. They try to make this shit last for... Well, I don't even know what the cap was. What was it? Like 60 days, if not more? You have a long time, basically, to play, play through a season. And they give you, basically, a job in order to complete all this. And don't get me wrong, I've done it multiple times already. I completed it because I want the rewards. Especially, like, the Sub-Zero stand at the end. Everybody wants to stand at the end, usually. And that is literally the best part of Invasions, is literally the end of Invasions. How sad is that, that your mode is literally the best mode when it's over? Please tell me in the comment section down below if you've already completed your invasions, task, and let me know what your thoughts on it are. Feel free to share your stories. But now we're going to bring it back to the menu, and we're going to save the versus portion for a little later. We'll go to the customize. Now what we have here is absolute dog shit. I can't even lie, I am pissed with the way they designed the game. Now I'm talking about the character designs. The character designs are actually pretty good. I'm not going to cap. They're actually really nice. Even for older characters being redone, like Tanya, for example. I know there's huge complaints on her face or whatever the fuck. I don't care about that shit. I'm more concerned about what she, what the outfits are and shit like that. I like the ideas they were going with, what they went for. I think they work. What I don't vibe with, we had all those options in Injustice 2. Went to MK11. We lost a few things from Injustice 2 when we got MK11. And then now we're here at MK1, where you're swapping out one piece. One piece of equipment on your character. Your skins are reduced to pallets. And don't get me wrong, some of them are dope. Like the Scorpion one, they started off with a good head start by putting Scorpion skin up there first. Because they got everybody. They got everybody with that bullshit. They even threw out this one like the following like week or so. Another Scorpion skin, literally fire, is literally a good skin. But you know what they decided to do? Oh, we had to back out of this menu first. They decided to take it to the damn store and make you pay money just to get it. And clearly, you saw that I have it. I bought the skin, of course, thinking, oh, what of it? But no, I have no longer been supporting the game. I did not buy their shitty fatalities. Usually when it comes to monetization of games, I put it as... You either buy it or you don't. In this game, they try to FOMO you into getting skins or pallets in a fucking fighting game. This is not excuse Street Fighter shit. It won't excuse Tekken shit. I don't even know if they're gonna do it or not. But this is there's no excuse for this. The bad monetization in the game is a huge part of the problem. You have these seasonal items in the store. 
damn near useless because they're all just fucking, uh... They're damn near useless because they're all just retailers. And granted, I did say, some of them are cool. Don't get me wrong, they really are. But they can't even put in enough effort to put in variations of different things. They had to just copy and paste and throw a little different color on everything. It's really sad to see what the games have become. And we haven't even got to the fighting portion yet. And I do have one good thing that I can call out for MK1. But I'll be saving that for the end. Make sure to stick around for that one good thing. That they actually did right, I will say. But we're going to go ahead and skip over local. It's damn near... It doesn't do anything. Nothing wrong. Besides the whole uh, two-player or player two fiasco. That was a huge issue. That problem was resolved, uh, according to my knowledge. But we're going to go ahead and move to online. We all know how it is here. There has been desync issues. Wi-Fi filter taking forever to be added. And you got private matches. You got your casuals. You got your combat lead. Warrior Shrine. What is it? What is the Warrior Shrine? It is still coming soon. That's what she said. What can I say about that one? If you heard something about Warrior Shrine, bruh, let me know down in the comment section. For combat lead and casual matches, there's been nothing but decent issues for people. Usually on console, I have yet to have an issue on PC. I will say I've been fine on PC, but I know it's an issue for people, so it needs to be addressed. And after fixing those desync issues, the issues weren't even fixed. And what was their response? There wasn't one for a while. But the response was basically, they're aware of the desync issue after the update, and then I'll put out another update. So hopefully they don't break the game even more. So now if we come back to the customize tab, we go to Cameo. What do we have here? We have the game's main system, how it operates. And honestly, it was a great idea. A great thought process. But what they should have did was made a tag game. I'm not gonna lie, they should have made a tag game because the amount of I don't even know if you want to call it broken, but the unlimited pressure some characters get, the unlimited possibilities that only certain cameos give you, that not every single cameo provides, is a problem. The balancing in the game doesn't make any sense. And do I have, like, super glaring issues with fighting any of these characters or any of these cameos? No. Initially, initially maybe, but after going to the lab, practicing, getting better against the stupid shit, all it became was stupid shit. You got certain characters that are just absolutely unbalanced, like damn near broken, Sandel doing infinites. It's like, what happened? Was anybody paying attention before they shipped out the game? Like, someone must have been drunk back there and just said, fuck it, send it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't fucking get it. What were they doing? Everybody's been talking about Mortal Kombat 1 right now. I wanted to weigh in with what, I, what I've been thinking about it, because I still make content for the game. I still personally enjoy the game, because I have not had issues like some of you out there, but I do hear you, I do understand that that shit fucking sucks. And I can't even lie to you, as much as I do enjoy playing the game myself, the hate is very warranted for the game. The lack of content they have provided to this game, if that's what you want to call it, is sad. Invasions is not a mode. They need to dump it, swap it with something else. I literally cut it from my channel as content because this mode is so ass. But now we're at the portion with the one good thing they did right. Are you ready for it? Are you ready? Maybe this is more two things, but the tutorial and the practice mode. I think Chef Kiss, they did great. With the tutorial, they literally showed you every aspect of the game. You have all these different challenges with characters, basically showing you combo routes, stuff like that. This is very welcoming for new players it's just very unfortunate new players can't even play the fucking game. You go online, they're getting desync issues. At least on consoles, they're getting desync issues. I don't know if there's any PC issues. Please let me know if there is. I haven't really faced any. And then we get down to the practice mode. Practice is absolutely great. I think everything they implemented in here has been fantastic. They do need to tweak more how they did uh, Young and Old Shane Sung, where you have the option to select that. They should implement that with Chameleon. With all that being said, the hate is very warranted for this game. I'm still in love with Mortal Kombat as a series, but MK1 is literally themselves. Like, I don't understand. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Let me get a light for even wasting my breath on this damn game. I will see you all in the next one. Ed Boon, NRS, fix the game, bro. Fix this piece of...